Hello everyone, Adam from Middles Panel Builders again, and today we're going to talk about the GNX375. This is going to be a quick overview of the unit, so we'll go ahead and just power it up. And while it's powering up, uh, most of you that have used the GTN will find this unit very familiar, um, or even the G3X for that matter. The menu structures are very similar. So the unit's powered up, so we just go ahead and touch the screen. Here's the database confirmation page. I'm just going to continue. Uh, here is the, uh, the self-test page. Continue again, and now we're on the home screen of the GNX375. As I mentioned, most of this is very similar to the GTN lineup of navigators. You have your map, traffic, terrain, weather, your nearest functions, your waypoint information, um, flight plans, procedures. Um, of course, you can't do radio navigation procedures on this because it does not have a nav radio in it. Um, over here, you can see we have the direct two button transponder tuning, our flight plan. We also have a little CDI needle down here that's not visible because there's no GPS signal at this time. Um, one change from the GTN units to this GNX in particular is that these knobs here are used for other than frequency tuning. So we can see here that we can go through like map, terrain, nearest, and then this enter knob, you know, depending on the page that you're on, you can use it to zoom um, or you can push it in to do different functions. Um, these two pages, terrain and nearest, can be modified. So if we go to our system and page shortcuts, you can see that we can change it to different slots. So for example, if you find having flight plan up is more important to you, you can change it to that. We'll go ahead and set it back to our terrain. And then like the G10, you can also change your data fields here just by hitting the menu button and configure user fields. So this is all much the same as well. Of course, the one big feature about this unit in particular is the fact that it has the ADS-B in and out transponder built into it. So this is a full mode S transponder. And you can see we can type in our squat code, change our modes, um, ident, turn off ADS-B out, all the same things that you could do um, on the GTN when it was configured to a transponder. And also, much like with the GTX45R, you can go over to your G3X and you can tune the transponder from there as well. All these functions are the same on the GNX375 as they are on any of the other uh, G GTX remote products that these are compatible with. If you are wanting to kind of learn more about it, unfortunately Garmin does not have a GNX trainer available as of right now. Uh, they do have the GTN trainer though, and because most of the menu structures are very similar, if not identical, um, that's a good place to get started to kind of learn how to use this unit.